How's it going, YouTube? It is Doc here, Docky Style Gaming. And in this video, we're going to be covering some all new Storm information and everything that we got on it so far. Now, thanks to my Chapman and the people at BioWare, we have 13 brand new articles that discuss things that we have yet to even discover about Anthem. And from one of these articles, it has brand new Storm information that has yet to even be covered on YouTube. So I'm going to bring it to you guys first. And speaking of Maya Chapman, it's also pretty cool because she liked my previous tweet on my interceptor video where i covered all of the new information that came from the most recent article and then also she went on to like a comment and even reply to a couple of mine so again i thought that was super fantastic now not actually saying all this to brag but it's always nice when you get acknowledged by a bioware employee or dev especially for some reason this channel is always left out of most anthem creators conversations or never mentioned or just ignored all together i don't know if it's because it's a small channel or i'm not an anthem only channel or if i don't have anthem in the channel's name but anyways it's always nice to get acknowledged by bioware and those are the ones that really count so it's nice to see that they're at least taking notice and it's freaking awesome on top of that but enough of all that let's get into some of the brand new storm information now the storm article starts like this the world of anthem is dangerous and the safety outside the walls of fort tarsus requires the use of powerful javelin exosuits the storm javelin is one of of these exosuits that you will unlock as you dwell deep into the mysteries of this unpredictable world and to stop the looming threat of the dominion you'll need to master every one of your javelin's abilities now this next part of the article is where we start getting some new storm information and it's called a sound of thunder the storm javelin first arrived in fort tarsus as a rumor developed by the dominion in their northern home of Stralheim, the storm uses a powerful technology known as seals to boost its laden kinesis powers of its pilots and the result is a javelin that can float effortlessly above the ground and unleash the raw energy of the anthem. Only through painstakingly arcanist research has anyone outside of the Dominion had a chance to wield the storm's awesome potential. And while the storm can channel unbelievable amounts of elemental force, it has little in the way of defensive capabilities and requires an expert pilot to stay above the fight and dish out damage from a safe distance. Now the next thing this article goes into detail on is the Storm Javelin exosuit features. So the first thing it talks about is the Storm's hover. It says, by manipulating kinetic energy, the Storm is able to maintain a low hover and remain mobile and combat effective while in midair. This allows the pilot to keep distance from the enemy and keep a clear vantage point over the entire battlefield. And then the second feature it goes into detail on is the Storm's teleportation. It says, with this incredible command of Kinesis abilities, the storm can maneuver in the air, moving through space instantaneously to arrive at a new position nearby, invading its enemies. All right, guys. Now, after hearing that, you know, I got to say it. Storm Master Race all day. Now, the last part of this article goes on to talk about the actual storm itself. Now, the last article is called The Eye of the Storm, and it states, With this elemental power and minimal armor, the storm has the reputation of being a tempestuous javelin that can spell disaster for even an experienced pilot. But ask anyone who survived a fight with one, and they'll tell you there's no doubting the strength of the storm. Whether the storm suits your style as a pilot, your needs for a particular mission, or just your mood that day, it's a great addition to your arsenal of javelins. And then that's how the article actually ends. But there's still some things about the storm that we do know because of things that have been discussed and talked about through Mark Darren on Twitter. So we know that the storm's weapons that we've seen in gameplay footage appear to be a submachine gun and a pistol. We also know that he has an infinite hover and while he's hovering, he can only move horizontally across the plane. We also know that because of the way he's built, he can fly longer than most of the javelins at base. And then of course, kind of how the article said, this javelin will take a bit of skill to get used to because it's gonna be a different type of play style compared to some of the other javelins. And then of course, we know that he is our glass cannon javelin in the game, meaning he deals the most amount of DPS, but he really can't take a hit, he's pretty squishy but he does gain a shield when he flies as well. So whenever he's not on the ground, he has a shield and when he touches the ground, his shield goes away. So definitely keep that in mind when you're deciding on which javelins to pick in the game. That's all I got for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I will catch y'all on my next video. It'll probably be either my news roundup or my gameplay breakdown video. So definitely stay tuned to that. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.